What's up, YouTube? And welcome, paralegal bosses. Welcome to Aero TV, the number one place for building success, independence, and happiness in your paralegal career. It has been a while since I've given you some tips with Adobe. And so that's what I want to do today in this video. I want to give you a new tip about Adobe. So if you watch this video right here, this talks about how I use Adobe for processing document production, for placing bookmarks and voluminous document productions. And if you watch this video right here, this video talks about how I use Action Wizards to kind of streamline my process when it comes to those document productions. And in today's video, I want to teach you how to create a fully hyperlinked table of contents. Have you ever seen those? Have you ever got a PDF document that just looks awesome, well put together, spectacular, has this great table of contents, and you click on anything in those table of contents and it directs you right to that page? Well, I did one of these for a client recently and they loved it. So I'm going to bring this here to you today on Arrow TV. If you're excited about this, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and click that bell if you haven't already. That will get you notified each and every time I put a video on here. So without further ado, let's get to this. Okay, first thing that I need you guys to do is I need you guys to put all of your documents that you are going to um, combine together into this package into a single file folder. And that's what I've done here. And this little file folder here. So we're gonna get in here and you're gonna see that I have this Word document down here for table of contents. So I'm gonna double click on that. All right, so this is a simple table of contents that I have filled out here. And I've just typed out Microsoft 365 case management system, table of contents, gave me a chapter one and some sections, gave me a chapter two and some sections. Um, and you'll see that right up here, I have a heading and that heading is this TOC title up here. And actually that is pretty important. Um, it makes it look nice, but it also makes it easier for us to create some bookmarks later on. There's an easy way to do that. There's a little bit more difficult way to do that, but it works well in the end. So it's just kind of up to you. This has to be a Word document and then converted to a PDF. That is very important. You cannot have a scanned document and think that you can put it in as your first page table of contents and links and bookmarks and things to it. It's gonna be really, really difficult to do. It's very important that you start from a Word document, create your table of contents and make it look all nice. Get your heading in there, get that proper heading in there and then convert this to PDF. So all I have to do is print this and it converts to PDF. I don't need to do that because I already did that ahead of time just to save some time here. Let's close this document and let's open up. Here is my table of contents. We are going to bring in everything that you see right here. And what I've done is I've labeled my document in such a way that it makes it a little bit easier to bring it in. Hang on a second, my camera's, my camera's covering this up. Okay, so here we are. And here's the one page that we got in here. We've got some other sections that I wanna bring in here. So we're gonna bring these in, we'll reduce this page. And then I'm gonna bring these items in. So first I'll bring in the webinar presentation cause that was chapter one. All right. Then I had all of the sections that were under that. So I'm gonna bring those in, put those below. Then we've got a chapter two. And all of the sections that went under chapter two. Great. 
like I got everything in there. So we're gonna go back to table of contents. Okay, so we have a couple of different ways to do this. Now, you notice over here in my bookmarks, I don't have anything here. Nothing was brought in here. So I actually have to create those bookmarks so that I have something to link back to. That's what we're going to do. Since this was a converted document from Word to Adobe, I can go ahead and highlight what it is that I want to link. Okay, right click, create link. I can either create link or I can add a bookmark. Now here's what I was talking about with you adding those bookmarks. All right, so let's open up this section right here. Okay, here's our webinar presentation. Click this bookmark here and I can create a link this is chapter one, webinar presentation. All right, let's go back to go into document or conversations. We're gonna go to conversations. So this was the end of that. So this is where we bring in conversations. So we can go and add another section one conversations and I can move this and make it a subsection right here under chapter one. So let's look at another way to do this though. This is another way that you might find more convenient and easier for you. Again, because this document was converted from Word, we can highlight this, we can right click and we can say add bookmark. So it's gonna add a bookmark right there that says webinar presentation because that's what it pulled through from the document. So it doesn't say chapter one webinar presentation. It just says in all caps, webinar presentation. We can do the same thing with this section down here, but we're gonna highlight the whole thing right here. Add bookmark. There we go. Section one, conversations. There you go. All right, so then you can just bring this underneath and make it a subsection right here. All right, so we have a um, webinar presentation that was put right here, but this isn't our webinar presentation. It, it uh, We highlighted it, it put it into a bookmark, but this actually isn't the webinar presentation. Did the same thing over here with conversations. I highlighted it, I right clicked, I added it as a bookmark, it brought it over here into conversations, but again, it's just this document. So you can either do this one of two ways. You can do this, like I said right here, where you find the beginning of the document and you set the bookmark that way, or you can highlight this section, right click, add, to book, add bookmark, and it, it's not gonna set it as a bookmark, okay? It just set the actual page. It only put the wording in here. So you can put in the work ahead of time or you can put in the work afterwards. Here's how you do that. I'm gonna get back down to, we're gonna get to that destination. We're gonna right click, set destination and click yes. Same thing for conversations. We're gonna go down through the webinar, go to conversations, highlight over here, set destination. Yes, we're gonna set that destination. So now that brings us to webinar presentation, webinar presentation, conversations, that's gonna be conversations. So it all works. I'm gonna go in and set all these bookmarks. And actually, I'm gonna use the other way. I'm just gonna highlight the page, create the bookmark, and go through and set the link.
All right, so I want you to highlight again over the webinar presentation. So over the chapter one, over your first item on your table of contents. And then what I want you to do is I want you to create link. Now it gives you some options here on creating that link. You can do an invisible rectangle around um, the item as a link type. You can do a visible rectangle around the link type. So by link type, it means the actual wording. So we'll put a big square around all the wording and it doesn't really look very nice. So I always do an invisible rectangle. All right, um, highlight style, none, invert, outline, inset, none. Link to action, we want to go to a page because we're not having it open a separate file, but you can do that. And we're not having it go to a web page, but again, you can do that. So we don't have a line style, we don't have a color, we're going to click next, and we're going to go back over to our bookmarks, go over to our chapter webinar, here, and we're gonna go ahead and set that link right there. So that's gonna put a blue square around it, but as soon as you click out of it, it'll take it away. We're gonna do the same thing for section one. So I'm gonna highlight over section one conversations, right click, create link, invisible, none, next, set link, section conversations. There we go, click out of it. Now we're back in conversations. Sorry about my dog barking in the background, guys. That is quarantine life for you. So let's do the same thing with section two, document libraries. All right, so I'm gonna highlight section two, document library, right click, create link. I wanna set the link in visible rectangle, none for that highlight style, go to a page view. Next, I'm gonna set it right here in document library set that link. All right, I'm gonna go through here and finish all of these links and I'll catch back up with you. Okay, so now that I have all of my links set up, let's check out to see if they actually work. All right, so let's check out chapter one. We've got the webinar presentation. Let's check out section one of chapter one and brings us down to conversations. Let's go to section three, one note. Yes, brings us down to one note. And let's go to Teams, brings us to Teams. Let's go to SharePoint, brings us down to SharePoint. All right, guys, as they would say in Oklahoma, that's how you get her done. Creating structured documents like this in a PDF format that's truly hyperlinked is great for plaintiff's firms when it comes to creating those settlement and demand packages. I'm sure there's loads of other useful use out there that I'm not thinking of on the spot, some briefings, some appellate use, and freelancers. This is awesome for you to add as a product and service to your services listed on your website. I hope you got some value from today's video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe and tap that bell to receive a notification of each time I put a video on here. Thank you so much for joining me today. And of course, good luck to you in all that you do because this crazy legal industry still needs a super savvy Adobe Pro paralegal just like you. Thank you for joining me today. Have a fabulous rest of your day, an awesome rest of your week, and an amazing weekend ahead of you. Good luck. Stay healthy. Mwah! Love you guys. And I'll see you guys back here on the next one. Bye-bye.